In this video, I'm going to update the sat-nav in my 2014 BMW i8. A little background, I bought this car three weeks ago. When I looked at the sat-nav, I seen that it hasn't been updated since new, so it's um, 2024 now, so the sat-nav is, uh, the date on it is 10 year old, so it's obviously way out of date. I'll, um, what I intend to do is show you where, to, where I got the software from and how to use it. So the company I got this from is a company called um, OEM Navigations. Uh, it's quite easy to use. Just go down to your car, which is obviously a BMW. Um, I know I know that there's various uh, bits of software for this navigation system. Mine is called Next. I will show you how to do that when we go to the car. So you click on that. Um, you obviously need the maps which I'm going for European West because that always covers all the west side and cover including the UK. I also need a FSC code. Now you can get a lifetime code or you can get a one time code. Now I don't intend to update the maps and pay every single year so I'm quite happy with just the one time code. If in three to five years time I decide to update it again um, then obviously I'll just pay again. It's not much. Um, you need to enter the last four digits of the VIN, which of course I've done already, and then you add to cart. This cost me about £20, so it's not not that much money. It's obviously far cheaper than what BMW were charging for £80, £79. Um, you will also need a, a memory stick. Now I just bought one from Tesco for £12, which is a 64 gig. Now initially you might encounter, you have to format the um, memory stick to a um, FAT32. Now with it being 64 gig, it wouldn't let you, but there is software you can download which will allow you to, to do this. Um, I don't actually have this at hand just to show you. Um, once you do that, you then obviously pay for the, the software. The company will send you a link, which will obviously be in your emails. Let me have a look. I've got my emails. Obviously, confirm your order. You can view your order. And you'll get another one which will, um, I won't obviously show you that, but the. They send you, they send you a link to. Uh, download the software and they also send you a link on some instructions as well which is fairly easy you have to once you've downloaded you have to extract it um, as a file to the, the thumb drive now this actually took several hours about three or three or four hours to do it uh, which I didn't think it was going to take that long I set it off quite fairly late at night so I had to just leave it go but I'd say it took about three or four hours to do and then when it's on the memory stick um, and then you can take it to the car, and that's what we'll do next. Right, here we are at the BMW i8. It's a very rainy day. So we'll jump inside the car. Now, mine's actually still plugged into the charger, so I'm not sure if this will work yet, but we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. Sometimes it won't let you do things whilst it's still plugged in. Uh, as you can see, it's fully charged. Let's start the car. Disconnect from charger, which you're not bothered about. Sat nav. Start navigation system. Right, there we go. Now we need to plug this in. Now I think on some cars it's it's in the um, glove compartment, as you can see on mine on the BMW i8. Nothing at all. And on mine, it's in the centre console. Is, which is here so it's moving a few things out that we've got here and there it is so what I'm going to do is plug this in and then the instructions say to wait a minute and the system will auto recognize that there's a map update plugged in and it should go to there you go start update so you click on OK. 
And now we have to enter the FSC code. Um, now we're going to have to bear with me a minute because that's on my phone, so I'm going to have to kind of stop this and come back in a minute. Right, we're back again. As you can see, I've entered the code. Now you'll notice that, um, obviously I think it's about 17 digits long, but it looks like there's um, I's and O's, etc. Now, I know that the codes don't have ones and zeros, just as to, to obviously avoid any confusion. So, you know, if you see anything that like that, you know it's going to be an I, and anything that looks like uh, an O or zero is actually going to be an O. Right, so moment of truth, press OK, and then we'll see what happens. Alright, so this is download, I can see it's now 1230 um, It's starting to download and an update the system and we'll see how long this takes and I'll come back. Alright, this is on 19%. It's now 12.39, so it's, it's going to be roughly 20% every 10 minutes by the looks of things. Um, so it could take 50 minutes, is that? Uh, I forgot to actually say how to find out what your version is. I forgot to show it. So what we'll do, we'll come back out of this by pressing the um, toggle button to the left, which I've done. And then we'll press the option button. And then we'll go to navigation system version. So as you can see, my version is obviously Europe. Um, roadmap version Europe, next. Next is this, the type of uh, map it is. And it's a 2014-2. Now I believe the dash two means it's the second revision of 2014. Um, the update maps and release them twice a year. So you'll have number one, obviously for the beginning of the year, number two for the, the second release of the year. Um, that's the one not yet that you need to look at, the next part. There's various ones, but mine's the next version. So we'll go back to data. So on 22% and we'll come back when it's 100%. Right, here we are back. And as you can see, we're on 99% and the time is no quarter past one. So that means it took 45 minutes to get to 99%. Thanks, pretty good going. I was expecting it to be nearly an hour. So we'll wait for this to click over to 100% and we'll see what happens. So it's starting the navigation system. I think the worst thing about this was just sat in the car waiting. I didn't really want to leave it on the drive uh, whilst it updated. I wanted to sit and watch it. So I've just been sat here listening to the rain. And there we go, it appears to be updated. Now if we go down to... Uh, sorry, to information. Additional information. Further options. Sorry, I've completely hit the wrong button here. Options. Um, version. And that's still showing 2014. <laughs> ah, sorry, yeah, I'm just waiting for it to say it's confirmed it's been updated. So, navigation system version. And as you can see, we're now on 2024. So, nicely updated. Um, I probably won't see any difference at the moment, of course, until we go out and about. Uh, but I'm kind of hoping, obviously, it's the cars, you may not be able to see that, but it has heads-up display. And apparently it's, it also makes that um, change as well when you're using it, apparently. No idea how, but we'll see when we go out and about. I, say, I don't intend to take with, with me whilst I go out and about, but that's basically how we update it. Thank you.